My name's Ben Scott, and the good people at Let'sRun.com have asked me to talk to you about running injuries. I've been running for nearly 20 years, and my favourite distance is the ultramarathon. So I've put some miles in over that time, and I'm still going strong. So hopefully, we'll be able to talk to you about what to do if you get an injury, and how to prevent the injuries coming. So today I want to talk to you about runner's knee. It's probably in the top four or five most common running injuries and uh, experienced by all types of runners of all sorts of abilities. And I want to talk to you about uh, what to do if you get runner's knee, how to prevent runner's knee, but also how to prevent a recurrence of that injury if you've already suffered from it in the first place. So what is runner's knee? As with a lot of medical terms, it, it's, it's a term that describes a collection of symptoms and it's not by itself a, a specific injury. So for example, a ruptured ACL describes the, 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 the tearing of a ligament. Um, runner's knee is more um, a, a wide ranging description. It's often also called patellofemoral pain syndrome. So if I show you the, the model of the knee, it's the patella, which is the kneecap, and femoral, which refers to the femur, which is the thigh bone. So it's pain around that complex of the, the femur and the patella. The causes of runner's knee can be anything from overuse uh, to a trauma if you fall and you bang your knee. Uh, other causes have been weak quadriceps muscles, so the, the muscles at the front of your thigh, if you've got a weakness there, that can lead to more load on your knee and the, the patellofemoral complex. Or also any sort of misalignment or imbalance, whether it be in the, the knee region or foot and ankle, it just results in, in your weight transfer not being in a straight line and that leads to imbalances which can set off the symptoms of runner's knee. So the question is, how do you know if you've got runner's knee? Well, you'll have pain, that's, that's normally the, the thing that gives it away. Um, the pain normally feels as if it's either around the, somewhere around the actual kneecap itself, or sometimes it feels like it's, it's just in behind the kneecap. Um, often you'll get swelling, sometimes you'll get a clicking, but it's often made worse when running or walking, especially if you're going downhill. Um, also sometimes if you sit for too long with your knee in the flexed position, or if you squat or you kneel and you get more pain when you're in those positions. So when the knee is flexed and under load, that's normally a good sign that something like runner's knee is, is occurring. What do you do if you've got runner's knee? Well, whether you've been diagnosed with runner's knee or you, you think you've got a strong suspicion that you've got runner's knee, um, as with any pain, the mnemonic RICE is a, a really good place to start. So the, the rest, ice, compress, elevation. So first of all, get the weight off your knee, stop doing the exercise that's aggravated it in the first place, rest. Ice it, no more than 30 minutes in an hour, 20 to 30 minutes, then take the ice away, and then ice it again, and just keep repeating, possibly up to sort of four hours a day, you can ice it for. Please make sure that you don't apply ice directly onto the skin, so make sure you wrap it in a towel or some sort of um, tissue or something so that the ice, because it will burn your skin if you apply it directly onto the skin. Um, compression, if you get some form of support or a bandage wrap, just to provide the compression around the knee area just to reduce the swelling. So where the actual swelling is, you'll see where it is. Get something on that to reduce that swelling. And lastly, elevation. So that basically means you sit with your feet up and somebody else goes and gets your coffee for you. Okay, so we've rested we've iced, we've compressed, and we've elevated. And hopefully, if you've done that, the, the initial acute symptoms, the immediate pain, should be under control now. So we now need to think about how we can get back to running without kicking that pain off again. If your runner's knee has been caused by an imbalance or a misalignment that's sort of built up over time and, and led to this, uh, this pain in the knee, I strongly recommend that you go and seek professional help in, in the form of a physical therapist, uh, sports therapist, strength and conditioning coach, something like that. Someone who can look at the way you are standing and moving, who can identify any sort of weakness and can give you the correct exercises to strengthen um, the necessary muscles. 
There are basic exercises that you can do to strengthen the areas that will give you a really good basic level of fitness and basic level of strength that will help prevent runner's knee. So the areas we need to be looking at strengthening are the quads, um, the hamstrings, we've got to look at the calves, um, the glutes, and also the core. I know everyone says about core strengthening, but it is, it's vitally important in running and it's something that shouldn't be ignored. Now, rather than me give you lots of exercises now, there are a myriad of exercises all over YouTube and you know you can Google it or, or, or put it into a search engine and you can find. But if you think those areas, look, at, look out for runner's exercises for quads, hamstrings, calves, glutes and core. Okay, so how can we prevent runner's knee, or more importantly, how can we stop it coming back if we've already had it? Well, there are a few things you can do that are fairly straightforward. The first thing is your running shoes. You need to make sure that you've got a decent quality pair of running shoes. If you've got a decent quality pair that are too old, the cushioning is gonna break down. So you need to make sure that what's on the bottom of your feet is acting as a shock absorber. Okay, that's gonna take the load off the knee. Um, secondly, you can wear a knee support, especially if you've, you've had runner's knee or knee pain of any sort, wearing a knee support um, is gonna protect the knee. If you've had a pain there, that's gonna be a weak spot and that's, that's shown to be more likely to be injured if you've had a previous injury. So no shame in wearing a knee support just to give yourself a little bit of extra um, strength, take the load off the knee and also to give you a bit more confidence. Um, the other thing you can do, you can reduce the miles that you're running on the road. So get yourself off road, go on a trail, go on some nice springy grass. Again, what that does is it lightens the load on the, on the knee joint and it just protects you a little bit from, from that pounding, pounding, pounding. Um, and lastly, just make sure when you're increasing your training, you don't increase the intensity or the mileage by, by too much in one go. So you want to make sure that your progression is a nice gradual one so your body can get used to it, your knees can get used to it, and then you can keep running and uh, crack on with it.